What is good guys, back with more SPL week 6, this time an Auras OU replay between X-Ray from the Bigs and Attendee from the Tigers. Looking at the teams real quick, we have a pretty standard Volturn cover, most likely Fizzdev, Rotom and AV Torn on Attendee's side. I'm expecting Specs, Kalio, Scarf, Drill, Rocks, Clef and then 4 attacks Mega Metagross, most likely with Bolt Beam coverage, T-Punch, Ice Punch, Medium Mash and the last move could be either Earthquake or Hammer Arm. On X-Ray side, most likely Rocks, Clef as well, Fizzdev, Slowbro, Banta for Breaking Power, Sandwich Drill, Life Orb or AV Torn, we'll have to see that. The Zard, no matter if it's X or Y, it's like a huge threat on Nintendo's team. That why cannot doesn't have good switch-ins at all. If it comes in on Clef or Rotom, it can put in work. And Zadex could set up on Clef or Rotom, depending on if they have T-Wave. I think the matchup is slightly in X-Ray's favor, but we'll have to see how this plays out. They could either exchange Knockoff or Rocks turn one. We do say they do just exchange Rocks. So they most likely have either T-Wave or CM in the last move slot. They probably don't have uh, Knockoff on their Clef. They will probably have Knockoff on their Torrent then. So we see they're both going to the drill. They want to get rid of the Rocks ASAP. But we see X-Ray's drill is on a balloon, which means and then he should not stay in here and lose risk losing his drill that early. He should just go on a Rotom. And Nintendo an X-ray is not Nintendo, an X-ray is free to go for rapid spin here. And he, he wants to get rid of the rocks for the Zard and the Torn. But there's the Rotom, there's the spin. Now Nintendo got either Hydro Pump or Volt Switch here. X-ray is either gonna go to Clef or Tornadus. It's pretty obvious that the drill is not gonna stay in. So there's the Tornadus. There's the Hydro Pump miss. So him going in a Tornadus on Rotom pretty much confirms that he's AV Torn. You would never go into Offensive Torn on Rotom. And this means he wants to knock off the, the Rotom's lefties. And if Rotom gets low and knocked off, like if it gets low on health, the Excadrill could become a huge problem later in the game. So Nintendo shouldn't stay in here. He's most likely just gonna go Clefable. Uh, X-Ray is super free to click knock off here. AV Torn like, doesn't even take much, even from Voltage from Rotom Wash. So there's a knockoff getting rid of Clefable's no leftovers. Now x could U-turn out, or he could Hurricane. And Nathaniel could either get his rocks back up, or he could fire off a Moonblast. See him, we see him U-turn into the Driller, uh, as Nathaniel goes for Moonblast to break the Drill's Balloon. Now x could make it pull a double here into Zard or in a Tita, or he could um, just stay in an Iron Head playing it safe. Nintendo's safe play would be going Rotom, or the aggressive play would be staying and going for Rocks, expecting X-Ray to not go for Iron Head. So you see X-Ray goes in the tar, and Nintendo stays and goes for Rocks, expecting him to double or not go for Iron Head. So he gets that play correct. Now this tar can just fire off a Stone Edge. Um, Nintendo's best Stone Edge switching would be the Drill, because it 4 times resists it, but he's most likely just gonna go to Keldia, because Keldia resists both stabs from the tar. I obviously doesn't want to stay in with the clef, it would take way too much from edge. So there's the Kelly on the edge and it gets crit. That sucks a lot for Nintendo because now um, he's at 10% from Sandstone. If he stays in and attacks, then he's pretty much dead to rocks. Uh, X-Ray obviously doesn't want to stay in, Banta can still put in some work. He's either going to go to Torn or the Rotom, uh, or the Slowbro, my bad. Torn or Slowbro. I would personally go to Torn because if Slowbro gets burned with rocks up and burn, I think Metagross might be able to 2-hit KO slow, bro. So Torn is the play to make for X-Ray. And I assume Nintendo is just gonna fire off a Skull to try and get a burn. Because, like, doubling into Rotom, expecting the Torn doesn't really get you anywhere because then you get knocked off. So I think that was the correct play. And that pretty much confirms AV Torn and Specs Skull, I'm pretty sure, from that damage. Now the Sandstorm brings us at 4%. X-Ray is really free to U-turn here. It would either pick off the Kelly or if Nintendo switches out, it would get a momentum. I would personally just sack the Kelly here from Nintendo. He decides to go on a Rotom. As x ray makes the correct play and U turns out to get momentum. He goes on his banter and he's just gonna fire off another Stone Edge. And yeah, Nintendo is pretty much forced to just sack the Kelly now. I think he should have just sacked it in the first place because now he just took a U turn on his Rotom and he's also gonna have to take um, like he's gonna have to sack the Kelly anyways and plus he took that chip on the Rotom but yeah not, not a huge misplay just a slight misplay in my opinion and yeah most likely we're just gonna see uh, X-Ray go for edge but by sacking Keldeo and then he will know what the tar locks itself into and yeah even if the Rotom is faster than this T-Tar and it burns it with Will-O-Wisp, Stone Edge would still do like 40 to 50% at least from Banta and Rotom being low would be bad for Nintendo because then Driller is a huge problem. So I do understand why he switches out. So we see he locks himself on the edge and then he can now go on the Tornadus here and he's really free to click U-turn. 
because uh, Torn outspeeds the tar, obviously. If X-ray switches, he gets, um, and then he gets momentum. If X-ray stays in, you can just U-turn into the either the drill that four times resisted or into the Metagross. Most likely in the driller because it four times resists. Um, but X-ray is probably gonna switch into either Clef or Torn here. Most likely Clef. Tendy is super free to click U-turn. There's no reason to click anything else. So there's the Clef, and now he could either go drill to spin, or he could go um, Metagross to threaten this out. So he goes in the driller. Now X-Ray could just go for soft build here to scout what the drill locks itself into. And even if he goes for Iron Head, I'm pretty sure it doesn't Oko. And as long as he doesn't get flinched, that's completely fine for X-Ray. So soft build is a fine play. Other play would be Harding into Slowbro or something like... Yeah, Hard Slowbro would be another option if he doesn't want to risk getting Iron Head flinched. But there's the Rapid Spin. I assume he just went for soft build. Yup. I completely agree that was the correct play, and now he knows this is locked in the spin, and he can just go for rocks again. And then he's probably gonna switch out. Uh, I have to switch out into Metagross, and yeah, X Ray can just throw the rocks back up. Now, obviously, he's not gonna stay in with the clef here. He's most likely gonna go slow, bro. And then he could either go for Mash, fishing for an attack boost, or if he has a coverage move like Grass Knot or T Punch, he could go for that, trying to catch the slow, bro. There's a the hard slow, bro. See, Nintendo goes for T Punch, and that crit sucks because now it's obviously 2 hit KO. So X Ray is gonna have to sack something here, either the Tita or the Torn, probably the Torn. And because he needs the Regenerator back so that he can lift the next T Punch. Um, and then he can just T Punch again here, it's pretty free. X Ray goes hard on the Torn. T Punch picks up the Torn. Now I assume Slowbro comes back out. Uh, Slowbro is forced to slag off here, and Nintendo could T Punch um, to like fish for a crit or a para doesn't get it so I would switch out now from Nintendo I mean he could fish for it once again if he wants to but yeah if he switches that's either into Clef or Roto most likely and X-Ray is probably just gonna slack off again here so Nintendo could either Volt Switch or Paint Split here X-Ray is most likely just gonna go a little Fable because he doesn't want to risk his Slowbro getting burned obviously Nintendo knows that his switch could come out so not Wisping like, Wisping wouldn't be a good play, is what I'm trying to say, right? So that's just Pain Split that covers Slowbro Sting and it covers the Clef coming out. Now Rotom is back at full, he wants this healthy for the drill, I already talked about it. Um, I assume X-Ray is gonna Softbolt or Moonblast here. Uh, Nintendo is most likely just gonna Volt Switch into either the Driller or the Metagross. I would personally go and Volt Switch into Excadrill, just in case this has T-Wave. You don't wanna risk your Metagross getting T-Waved. The Volt Switch into the Driller is what I would do, and we will now see if he goes for Moonblast to get some chip, or if he goes for Softballed. He does go for Moonblast to chip this, and I assume we just see a switch into Slowbro from X-Ray side here. Staying in is too risky at this range because he would die to Iron Head. Um, so he goes hard in the Tita there, predicting a rapid spin, which was quite risky, but it works out. So that was a fire play, I didn't think about that at first. And now he can pursue this drill for some good damage. You can see the drill spinning again there, confirming that it's Choice Scarf, but it was pretty obvious anyway from Team Preview. Now he... X-Ray, I don't know if he wants to stay in here, because if he stays in and traps the driller, then in 10 his Metagross would come out. Uh, as long as the server doesn't get crit or hexed, he would still be fine, I think. But we'll have to see. So. You can see that he didn't pursue it again because we saw that it was still alive. He doubles into Driller there, but this doesn't work out for X-Ray because um, we saw that it was Balloon Drill, it's not Life Orb, so this Metagross can actually take an Earthquake from full, I'm pretty sure, that's how bulky Meta Ma Mega Metagross is. Or even if there's a chance that it occurs, I don't think it occurs, then he still has a Rotom in the back, so this is fine for Nintendo. Um, let's see, is it worth it for X-Ray to stay into Rapid Spin and then potentially lose this to Earthquake or Hammer Arm? I don't think it's worth it, he's probably just gonna go slow, bro. If he loses his Drill to get either damage on this or to Spin... If he loses it, it would be to Spin, he wouldn't Earthquake, because he needs Rocks up for the Zard at all cost. But uh, I think just going slow, bro, seems fine here. So do we see, um... It's Hammer Arm there, okay. So was Hammer Arm not Earthquake? Now, <clears throat> Kang now has to go for Slag off again in case the Metagross stays in and goes for T Punch. He could also. Hmm. I mean, I don't think Nintendo is gonna stay in. I think Nintendo is just gonna switch to Clef or Rotom. So, like, X-Ray could predict that in attack, but I think he might just go for Slag off, fearing the T Punch. 
We doubled in the drill, okay. Not sure what he predicted there. Yeah, he predicted the cleft probably, right? Wait, what 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 he had he had this in? Yeah yeah, he predicted the clef or he predicted the rotom, I'm not hundred percent sure. But pretty much what I get from this is X-ray wants to spin off. Sandstorm ends, right? And now we can see he goes for rapid spin. Um Nintendo most likely went for pump here. The thing is if X-ray Zard is a Zard Y um, then you can definitely lose to the Metagross now. So spinning there, if he's a Zard Y, I think was a bad play. But if he's a Zard X, then he can set up on this Rotom now. If this is lacking T-Wave, we don't know that confirmed yet. But if this is not T-Wave, then he can set up on a bit Zard X. So we will see if it's Zard X or Y. Pretty sure he's gonna bring that out now. We see the Hydro Pump does connect. I mean, like, if he just goes Clef, you would lose momentum. So this is definitely the time to bring out Zard. Because you just got the spin off and you obviously don't want your opponent to set the rocks back up again. Now, if it's that why he would go for solar beam here or yeah. And the Tenny pretty much has to just stain and pump. If he has T Wave, he could go for T Wave. If it's that X, I think it just wins the game if this is not T Wave Rotom. So we see it's that X and it dragon ends up. Rotom goes for Volt Switch, not pump. Oh okay, okay, I guess. Yeah, I guess Volt Switch um But this doesn't matter, yeah, he just loses now. So, like, he's just gonna have to flare to kill this Clefable. He's gonna take some recoil, but does it even matter? Because, um, this DD means he outspeeds the Metagross, he kills it with flare blitz. He outspeeds the Torn, he kills that with... Dragon Claw. And he probably has Roost as well to stay healthy, that's, that's the most common in Auras, right? He outspeeds the Scarf Drill after the Dragon Dance. So I don't see how Nintendo can win because if he had T Wave with Rotom, I think he should have clicked it. What can he go to now? Like re the recall is not enough to kill it. So he goes back to Rotom and he's probably gonna have to spam Hydro Pump. Um he has to bank on this not having Roost. If this has Roost, the game is over and he reveals Roost. There's the pump doing more than half, but the thing is pump only has I think eight PP and he already used two of them. So he only has six more and Roost has fifty more BP if I'm not mistaken. He can just spam Roost. And there's also a chance that Hyper Pump is gonna miss eventually. So he does hit one, that's 53 there. Just spamming Roost to play. Because if this runs out of pump, there's a miss that sucks. Now he can DD again. If this is out of pumps, it can't touch the Zard anymore. And he spams DD and he wins. I mean, pretty sure he wins already, but he gets more DDs. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. He can afford to do that. He can just Roost up again. I think Rotom has like three pumps left. I don't know, I didn't count exactly. But this Zardex should just win the game. Because Roost uh, obviously allows him to stay out of range where he would die from Flare Bits Recall. Or he stays out of range from Hydro Pump. Now he's forced to Flare Bits this as he sacks the Torn. And no matter what he does here, he just loses. Flare Bits is gonna pick this off. Goes back to run to get some Recall, but it doesn't matter because now he can Roost. If that would have killed... Um, then... He could have killed this with recoil after it kills one of these two, but then at that point his team is already like so weakened that it doesn't matter if it dies to recoil. But since he goes Rotom and it doesn't die to Flavits, now he can just roost up again. Or he could also just Dragon Claw. Yeah, he just roosts. And unless he pumped crit there, he couldn't do anything, he just loses. I mean, pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, this game is over. I don't know if I would have actually... Like, I might have just Dragon Clawed. I don't know if I would have roosted again. Because he would have gotten another kill guaranteed. And he still had a slow bro in the back. But, like, X-Ray obviously played this. Like, it worked out fine. I just don't know if it was worth it risking a Hydro Pump crit that turn. Like, I know Hydro Pump... Like, critting is like a... Like a s the chance to crit is like only 6% right in Auras. I think in Sun and Moon they turned it to 4%. But in Auras it's still 6 point something. So now you just... Flare is this, Bob. And yeah, they say GG well played and then he just forfeits. I would say I wanna thank you guys for watching. Um what else? What else? Yeah, this was a week six game. I know we're already in week seven. And you guys can expect more content. This is like the only game from week six from Auras that I missed. I recorded like every other game live. So you can expect those to go up. If I don't like I sent some of them to my man Ultra Balls, I will do um I did some mice on my own. And yeah, we have week seven going on at the moment, then week eight, nine, and then it goes to playoffs. And I will cover all the games and the games that I haven't uploaded yet. I have some in the bag. 
they will go up when SPL is over. Like I have some games in the back from week two, from week three, from week four, and then a lot of games from lower tiers that my my man Ultraboss will help me with. And maybe count Riario if he wants to help more often. He was on the channel I think three times so far. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, X-ray did what he had to do. The only like he didn't scout out if the Rotom had Wisp. He couldn't really. It didn't really come to that that Rotom revealed Wisp. I think that could have technically been T-Wave Rotom. Then he might have been screwed over. But it worked out. Like, Tier Ronum is not pretty common. This team is somewhat weak to Zadek, so I actually think it would have made sense in this team to be have Tier with the Ronum. But yeah, X ray's score after this win was. Hmm, I think he was 4 and 2, if I'm not mistaken. And Nintendi, I, I don't know what Nintendi's score is. I think he's positive as well, but I don't remember if he's 4 and 2 or what he is. But I think he's watching, and peace out, Bob.